uh, basically give the people I voted stickers. Um, it's because they're patriotic Americans, right? Yeah, I like but, to say how much they vote. Yeah, but to hear, we actually put, I voted to continue my own oppression. And so we're going to hand these out at the polling places. So they're going to walk in. We're going to say, are you voting today? Great. And we're going to give them this. And then hopefully they'll catch it like, Maybe it'd be funny if they caught it going in, but eventually they may come home and their wife is going to look at it and say, what's that really saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to say, continue my own impression. All right, let's go. Did you guys vote today? It's choose your master day. Did you get a voting, voting sticker? Oh, I mailed my ballot in. So oh. Did you guys vote today? Yeah, grab again. a sticker. But this is the question. So to choose your master day. Now, right? yeah. Oh, seven. Seven. Okay, so you have an hour. Okay, so we're declared, which is dumb, as like independence. So they won't let us vote in the primaries, right? That's how they did it with the general election last time. They change things all the time. So, so. maybe maybe we could. You don't know. What's that? I said oh. maybe we could come and vote, even though we're declared as because they wouldn't let us vote in the Republican primary. The Democratic yeah. primary because we were. Can they vote? Can they vote uh, independent in the primary? Do you know? What? They, they wouldn't let us last time in the national election. We couldn't vote because we were declared as independents. So we couldn't vote in the primary. We yeah, that's there. how they do. That's how it is still? Yeah. I had to go change that. I forgot yeah. to do it. You know, yeah, you can, yeah. You get to the election. They're, they're, they're independent, man. Yeah, they want yeah. you to choose your your own gang, you yeah, know? Which, my my like, red or blue gang. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, I just want to choose who I want to choose. Like, whatever side I want to. Like, oh, they, they can't, they can't keep the, you want, you want yeah, the they can't keep, they can't right. keep, they gotta keep us slaves in check here. That's right, I just wanted, I just want to be able to hear out yeah. them and uh, then come and do it, but, yeah, the, but I can understand last time I, I it sounds know. like, last they, time I like it went by a guy with blue face. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. The master, that's what and I'm now saying. this time I think a red, guy in a red coat would probably wouldn't be better. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, along the you want to, it sounds like you're smart. one of them uppity slaves that don't know their place in society. Oh man, but, sounds like a terrorist to me. Okay. You guys, going to, you want to vote today? Sorry? Going in to vote? That's what, that's why there's so many cars. Right. How you doing? You guys going in to vote? What's that? You going in to vote? Oh, uh-uh. No, I've already voted today. Oh, you, you heard you want oh. to vote? <laughs> I just took mine off. What? Now I you got to know. Thank you. Yep. She had an early ballot. She, she, she looked at the masters and picked the one that was the best. That's what they said. Early. Yeah, oh, that makes it's a lot easier. It's, it's a lot of trouble coming down here. Yeah. I like to pick my master of the mail. <laughs> well, that's easy. Definitely. What are we doing with these? I can tell. I already... We're going to go put these on the on the boards and some cars of people at the uh, U.S. Forest Service. We're at the Salt River. And we're going to put these on the people's cars. And inform the slaves that buying the pass helps the, these bureaucrats uh, fund their salaries and what is it yeah outrageous salaries and their ridiculous pensions yeah. so we're because we're uppity slaves, slaves. Yeah, we're uppity slaves. How you doing? So what is it that you guys do? Restaurants. Restaurants? Yeah. Like what? I'm, I'm just curious because I've never seen these. Oh yeah, I'm the health inspector from the county. Oh. Yeah. So I do health 
So, so like, uh, I'm curious. Okay, does the the county take liability if they inspect it and someone still gets sick? Well, the establishment's liable, depending on. So then, what does this, the county do for the? Well, we just regulate and make sure that they're following the food code, and then we have a, an investigation team if there is a food or outbreak that does investigations on our behalf for the establishment. It just sounds like another shiny badge, you know, going to tell people what to do, but. Um, do you only accept American dollars? Yes, only, of course. What about Bitcoin? What the hell is Bitcoin? <laughs> you know what Bitcoin is? You're on the internet right now and don't know what Bitcoin is? I'm playing Clash of Clans right now. You don't know what Bitcoin is, but we like live. You can't cash those in. What are you talking about? You got pieces hey. of paper you can't cash in for gold. You have to have a permit for this? Yeah. How screwed up, how free do you feel you have to have a permit for a bicycle? Dude, I had a job where I had eight bosses. They promoted me and I had seven bosses. I had 20 people working underneath me. I had no boss. That's how free I feel. But you know, you got the man for your boss. Who do you get the permission for? Well, the city, I paid 50 bucks. So the, the, the city's your boss. Hey, I put 50 bucks through and I'm good. You're like, you're like the man slave, man. Hey, hey, hey. hey. You don't well, do we, we, we are, we all slaves, man. Gotcha. All right, that's it. I'll figure it out. Let me scan my hand, my forehead. We're in the new world order, right? All right. Um, what kind of currencies do you take? Um, we take Visa and then cash. What currencies? Yeah. Like, do you take Bitcoin or gold or silver or anything like that? You know what I'm talking about, right? Like from out of state, a lot of country ones, or, or no? Oh no, like these yeah. ones that are made by not countries. Like, can I just do a trade? Like some some of my services for your services. Okay, I, I guess I'll, I guess I'll give you my slave card. Uh, well, I'm just trying to educate you. I'm so like out of it today because of it being so slow. Just trying to educate people that we're all just slaves to the dollar, pieces of paper. If I said, hey, let's work for some pieces of paper, would you say, oh sure? I find that to be incredible value to me. Or you'd say, oh, screw you, it's a piece of paper, right? So. It's crazy, guys said the same thing because, like, the amount of money that goes away so fast. Like, yeah, well, use a different currency like Bitcoin. The government doesn't control it, they don't tax it, they don't take their percentage. And it was the Bitcoins, like, right around 500 bucks right now, one of them. Really? Now, we can give you a whole Bitcoin for a sandwich, but, you know, the percentage difference. But uh, take a, do some research on that. I'm going to. Right. I'm a Lori. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Just looking at all the flag worship. Yeah. You want anything? I want us not to be in 130 different countries around the world killing people. If it was like actually for defense, maybe. Right. I, I would support militia. So if it ever comes down to it, you know, switch sides and stop killing other people. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Are the manager here? Yeah. All right. You, you know, um, just do a little Google search on it, but it tells you how to open a wallet. And the whole point of it is that government doesn't control it. Like, you know, they print the money. Government doesn't control it? Who no, tried your kid? No, no. Control, government control our breathing. What are you talking about, <laughs> That is true. But yeah. this, is, this is the way you bring it, because, you know, we got a private bank in our country printing our money, right? Well, they control our money even if we use cash through inflation. That's why it costs more every year for stuff, right? This way, this is a decentralized currency that no one can, This is just some people that donated to uh, print the flyer. But there's millions and millions of businesses accepting this. I accept it. And uh, you ever shop online for things? Not really. Overstock.com, you hear them? They know, accept I it. I Expedia. I like, I like to feel the thing before I buy it, you know. <laughs> well, that's, that's barter's always better. Do you do barter here? Do what? Do you do any trades or barter here or just no. US dollars or yeah. Federal Reserve notes? Not, they're not US? I don't trust nobody. That's the problem. Well, here's the thing. This, so like I'll show you my phone. This goes from like my wallet, that's digital, kind of like this, but there's no transaction fees and there's no government tax. So like here's my wallet here. You just ignore the spots, but. So, if I want to type it in, like I want to send you some money, so the US dollars, say I bought something for five bucks, well, it comes out as 0 0.008 Bitcoin. And the concept of that is, I just take a picture and I scan my QR code and send it over to you. So, you know how, like, um, 
when you start, take money overseas, do you limit the amount you could take? Yeah. Right? This, you just send it over in Bitcoin and they have no, no idea. It's, just, it's a way of just hiding what's yours. Uh, I don't know. I just do a research yeah, on it. That's it. We I all got the internet. Do some it, research. Yeah, yeah check it out. It, yeah. All right. All right. Thanks. Is your boss here? We want to give her these. I don't. I want to give you guys these. It's a, a payment system and a different currency. It's just a way of uh, avoiding taxes and transaction fees and that kind of stuff. Okay. The mom and pop businesses tend to want to do that stuff. Okay. Yelp just, it to the owner. Yelp just added it as a currency on their website. So. Yelp did. Yep. Okay. What time yes. do the research on it? Okay. Great. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks a lot. We're on the way to the Jackalope, seeing some people on the way here. Hi. How you doing? Pretty good. Don't want to be the bad guy, but facilities for campground use only. So government steals our money through taxes, builds no. bathrooms and says you got to pay more money to use the bathroom? This is a fee use area. Is it privately owned? It's the fee use area. What is it mean? Is it privately owned? It's the fee use area. What does that mean? That get that's that uses the government money to steal and pay for it. This is not a debate, sir. I'm just letting you know. Do you do you do you like working for the man? Yeah. You I do. do? He's pretty good. Do you feel like He's Zeke Heil and all that stuff? Steal money no, from the if you want to be that way, you know, you can be that way. I'm not. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm sure the Nazis were like that too. You want to be that uh, way? I'm just I'm doing my job. I'm a Visigoth personally. Uh, what's a Visigoth? Google it. Google it. You don't want to just give me a... Well, uh, Visigoth is basically a nomadic warrior. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Huh? I mean, they trashed what? the Roman Empire, so I think... I'm, I want, I'm here to trash the U.S. Empire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want my money going to extort other people. Good luck with that. Do you, do you feel that taxes are going to a good cause? I don't pay taxes. <laughs> But you want to extort He's money out, out of everyone here? Because here. he lives out no, here. I know. Because he likes I know to be you left get, alone. I know you get it, and that's why you're out here. I don't know why you'd work for them, though. You know, having that mindset you say you have it does it does it, it's a little cognitive dissonance to me. I just abuse the situation. <laughs> okay. Hey, you know what? We do too. Apparently. Hey, if you get a chance, <laughs> go down the. You know where Baca Meadows at? Nope. Just Baca past Meadows. Just, just past, past Black Canyon Lake. You don't go past this campground? I'm from Florida. What the anyway, heck? go go a few more miles down the road. There's a freedom festival going on, and we didn't ask permission. And there we're might, free. There might be no. Oh, yeah, you can camp for free. That's that's no problem. There might be nomads too. But <clears throat> out there, you have no facilities. You yeah, have you do. Porta potties. Ride your own. You know, yeah. Whether it's a Homer bucket. Or but you have to pay for it here. So what's the difference? They're paying for it there. We're paying for it here. Yeah, but you're not. What are you talking about? The government steals from my on my pocket no, all the time. No, I'm not gonna debate. Because <laughs> you, because he knows, he knows what they do. No, I know. This is not a debate. Thank I'm you. I'm we just appreciate, showing that we, some we people. We appreciate your time. All right, we just like to have conversations with people to talk about real stuff going on. See, when I'm up here, I don't like to converse. He wants to be left alone, which is fine. But you're not leaving us alone. <laughs> I got it. It's cool. All right, I'll see you later. Have a good one. <laughs> So as a waitress, it would be pretty smart for you to maybe think about accepting Bitcoin as a tip because then you can accept, you know, start getting the currency and you can buy stuff online. Thousands of websites accept Bitcoin as a currency, including Overstock, Tiger Direct, stuff like that. Do you, do you guys accept it here for payment? I 
I just yeah. assume no. <laughs> but you don't have like even if the business doesn't decide to accept it because you can avoid all the transaction fees. Although I think you guys charge the customer here instead of the business because there's a note on the door that says if you use a credit card, it's seventy five. Yeah, so I guess a lot of businesses will accept that fee, but they take the fee, so they're spending you know, thousands of dollars a month in transaction fees just using credit cards, whereas they can avoid losing thousand dollars a month just by accepting this currency, Bitcoin. No taxes. Right. Well, unless you're dumb enough to report it. And it's, free, <laughs> it's free to open a wallet. You don't have to like fill out any forms. Just like have an email address. Bitcoin doesn't care who you are. You know, that sort of thing. But there's a little insert on the inside that explains what it is pretty thoroughly, so you can check it out. Let, Thank us, you. let us know if you yeah, we tried to We try to pay for our lunch and our or tips in Bitcoin as much as possible. Absolutely. <laughs> it's for you. Thank you. What about you at the waitress? Do you accept Bitcoin tips? I mean, I do accept Bitcoin tips. I don't know enough about it. Because you can open a Bitcoin wallet for free with your own smartphone. And then people would be able to scan the QR code and Bitcoin directly from their wallet to your wallet. No 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 it's a different currency. There's no government or bank printing it, put it that way. That's how they fund their endless wars and the police beating up people in videos. Uh, so we actually make a purpose of trying to pay for all of our meals in Bitcoin. We make a purpose every time we go out to pay for all our meals in Bitcoin. Or tips or whatever. Pretty good success doing it. So. It's an educational curve, for sure. You know, um, last year Bitcoin was trading for $4, you know, the exchange rate to US dollars. I think it's no, is it a, year a year and a half ago, maybe, right now. Um, it's trading right around 600 today. Oh, really? Wow. It spiked at 1200 a few months back. So. But you don't have to go and buy a Bitcoin or even a whole Bitcoin. You can buy like a percentage of it. You, know, it's you just trade your time and services for it like we do for dollars. Right. As a waitress, you can just wear your QR code like on a pin or a sticker that says, I accept Bitcoin tips. And you don't need to scan it with your smartphone. And it goes straight to that. You ever uh, shop online? A what? You shop online ever? Sometimes. Some of the other girls are more into it than I am, but I don't really shop at all. You've heard of, you've heard of Overstock.com, right? Yeah. They accept Bitcoin. Oh. Yeah, okay. lots of, you just got to go on the payment thing, and it's one of the options. And you can see that. Didn't you see some? Yelp has added it as a currency on their website. So when the business gets listed on there, and they accept dollars, they accept credit cards. Okay. What's your name? Rachel. 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 Rachel.